Hello and welcome to 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarab al -Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met today with Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and United Arab Emirates Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, in the Endurance Village in the Windsor Castle on the occasion of His Majesty the King's visit to Royal Windsor Horse Show. His Majesty welcomed Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, expressing thanks and appreciation for the invitation to attend the race, noting the deep rooted history and culture of both kingdoms. His Majesty the King, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth and Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid held discussions regarding the Bahraini, UK and UAE historic relations based on mutual respect and joint coordination in all fields. They also discussed the importance of these shows in spreading these sports in local and international circles. They discussed the historical and friendly relations connecting Bahrain and the UK in all fields and the development these relations witness. Rupert Goodman presented to His Majesty the King a book marking 200 years of Bahrain-UK relations and His Majesty thanked him for the gift. His Majesty the King and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II witnessed a part of the 120-kilometer international equestrian race in which a number of riders from Bahrain took part, led by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and leader of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Riders from the UAE, Gulf countries and Europe also took part in the race. After that, His Majesty the the King bid Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II farewell. Upon arrival at the Endurance Village, His Majesty was welcomed by His Highness Sheikh Nasser, senior officials and organizers of the race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser briefed His Majesty about the phases of the race and the participating riders. His Majesty then met with the Duke of, Duke of York, Prince Andrew, the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, David Cameron, Lord Astor, Minister of State at Foreign and Commonwealth Office, Sir Alan Duncan, and Commander Royal Military Academy, Saunders General Paul Nansen, and reviewed the historic friendly relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom. His Majesty praised the efforts exerted by Sheikh Nasser to promote this popular sport. He noted the role of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance team and its keenness on participating in various regional and international championships. He also hailed the achievements of Bahraini riders who have reflected a positive image of the kingdom in this domain. His Majesty affirmed that Bahrain, represented by the royal team, aspires for the success of the Windsor Equestrian Festival through participating effectively in its various competitions. He noted that taking part in such championships and competitions reflect the development of the equestrian sports in the kingdom, as well as its many achievements in commercial, economic, cultural and athletic fields.
Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Captain of Bahrain Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Bahraini riders participating at the Royal Windsor Endurance Race. His Highness highlighted that His Majesty the King is keen to attend such race annually and provides support to such races which gathers riders from various parts of the world. Sheikh Nasser added that the presence of His Majesty the King and his follow-up on the race provided a boost for the riders to provide their best and compete for best results. He went on to say that the royal team has achieved its objectives at Windsor and wished the team even better results. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that members of the team were keen to participate in such race for the purpose of gaining more experience and to compete with the endurance championships from different parts of the world. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated rider Jafar Mirza from the Royal Endurance Team for securing the fifth place in the race and Ali al Sabai for securing the first place in the 80 km race. His Highness also congratulated UAE rider Saeed Al Khairi for securing the first place, rider Saeed Al Mahiri for securing the second place, and rider Abdullah Al Murri for securing the third place. The Ministry of Housing participated in the 26th session of the United Nations Human Settlements Program meeting, which was held in the Kenyan capital Nairobi. The ministry affirmed that the housing strategy discussed in the meeting is in line with Bahrain's 2030 vision as it contributes to raising the living standards of citizens by continuing to provide and improve housing services. The strategy is also closely linked to the social support program included in the National Econo Economic Strategy. The ministry noted the importance of the delegation's participation in the meeting in view of the ministry's current review of its housing policy in line with Bahrain's economic vision of 2030, particularly with regard to exploring opportunities for long-term sustainability of the housing sector. Under the patronage of the Chief Executive Officer of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmoud Al Khalifa, Bahrain is hosting the 46th SKAL Asian Area Congress at the Gulf Hotel from the 11th to the 15th of May 2017. The SKAL organization, a professional body headquartered, headquartered in Spain, consists of senior members and experts in the tourism, travel and hospitality industry within its club in Bahrain, as well as international counterparts. The Congress was attended by the President of Escal International, Mr. David Fisher, and the President of Asian Area, Mr. Robertson. The event attracted around 120 members, including 70 from the Asian continent, as well as participants from Argentina, Canada, and the United Kingdom, and 50 local businessmen. The conference will run over a period of four days and will include a series of meetings that will give members an opportunity to discuss the latest trends in the tourism sector and the challenges faced in their countries and also offer a platform for trade opportunities and potential partnerships. 70 countries participating uh, with atten uh, attendees more than 140 attendees from different parts of the world. Uh, today is the Asian Congress. Uh, I'm glad to see international presence as well. People all the way from Argentina, Canada, uh, are here. So uh, the Asian Congress uh, became more of an international platform. Introduce them to Bahrain and let them know what Bahrain has and what Bahrain can offer and uh, show them around. And in the meantime, uh, put them together with the active uh, travel executives, uh, hospitality executives, hoteliers in Bahrain to establish a networking 
which definitely contribute positively on the uh, on their business. Uh, clubs and countries get together and discuss mutual interests of uh, concern to Skull and Skull members, whereby they sit down and debate the way forward for the organisation, that the future for the organisation, uh, as it's a moving industry, things change, we need to be aware of the changes and we have to be abreast of the changes and we have to brainstorm sometimes ideas and this is primarily what happens with this sort of get together. We all sit together, talk, debate and, and create strategic plans of the way forward for the overall tourism industry. To the friendship and the networking uh, between the Bahrain and all of the participating the countries from the, around the world. So the, we look forward to it very much in the coming three or four days in the Bahrain. The first Arab Championship and the first GCC Indoor Skydiving Cup organized by Gravity in cooperation with the Bahrain Air Sports Federation, the Arab Air Sports Federation and the GCC Air Regularity Commission was concluded yesterday evening. More details with Hab Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain is starting to be a springboard for the sport of indoor skydiving, especially since this modern sport began expanding regionally and globally, as reflected in the increasing number of participants and fans. In one of the tallest wind tunnels in the world, with an overall height of 12 meters and width of 4.3 meters tempered glass, 18 Arab Championship teams, including 60 participants, strongly competed for the first GCC Indoor Skydiving Cup. We had a great time with the teams participating from Oman, from Qatar, from UAE, from Saudi Arabia, and uh, it was a good competition. We had a fantastic turnout from teams and the caliber of flying has literally been incredible. Um, the fact that we have the Qatar Tigers come here, uh, they're one of the top five teams in the world. Ten rounds identified the winners in this championship, including professionals and beginners, and varied between individual and group competitions. Awards were distributed in appreciation of the different talents, such as freestyle, speed and many others, that certainly showed the paid efforts in training and dedication. Whether winners or competitors, they were all full of enthusiasm, sharing their stories, fears and achievements with pride. It's a really good experience. I learned a lot it's because it's my first uh, competition. So I did well. Uh, I'm the winner for the VFS. Uh, we have been training uh, for uh, three years, preparing ourselves for this competition. And uh, thanks God, we uh, finally uh, I can get the first medal in speed. It was quite intimidating at first because you see a lot of grown men and they're all in their professional suits and they're all wearing the same thing and they're really fast and they're strategizing and I'm just there by myself. We're talking to each other, planning on what we're going to do and we're just scared. But once we're in the tunnel, it was, all was well and alhamdulillah everything worked out and became perfect. Yes, power. Yeah. <laughs> That was a really good experience. We enjoyed every minute of it and actually every second in this competition is count. It was crazy. It was extravagant. It was amazing. I can't say, I can't even describe in words how amazing this was as a competitor and as a winner. It was undeniably a major sporting event added to the series of prestigious activities and global programs contributing in the revitalization of sports and tourism in Bahrain. If you think you can't fly unless you have wings, then you haven't tried indoor skydiving, bringing so much fun and excitement here in Bahrain and attracted talented champions and adventure lovers to join and watch the first Arab Championship and first GCC Cup. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar.